Hi folks, Technivorous here. Welcome to my Kira playlist. Before we get started, hit that subscribe button so you can find your way back here. I update often. That said, as you may have noticed, Kira settings can be very simple or very in-depth. So I took the time to make a video about each section in the custom settings menu, and I'm going to quickly go over the important settings each section contains and briefly explain them. Are you ready? Good, let's go. This is Kira settings in five minutes or less. Now we're going to get into f some funner stuff. This is the dual extrusion menu. As you can see, I have it expanded here, and it's not showing me any settings. That's because Kira knows I don't need any of those settings for this printer because it is a single extrusion printer. However, it does have settings in here for IDEX printers or independent dual extrusion printers, and if you go to the settings cogwheel here, you can see them. I can give you a quick overview of what some of these things do, and I can tell you right now that the prime tower, if you're using dual extrusion, is something you're going to want to have turned on. The prime tower basically is exactly what it says it is. It will create a tower block separate from your model that it will use to purge and prime filament in order to make sure that the nozzle that is needed to lay down the filament at that time is clean and ready to go, and it is good practice for changing between nozzles. The prime tower size is also adjustable and minimum volume. There are a lot of settings here. Enable ooze shield, ooze shield angle, ooze shield distance, nozzle switch retraction distance. This is how much it's going to retract when you change between no nozzles. And basically this is going to replace your retraction speed, although you're still going to want to leave those settings how they are. Um, but this is going to do it for both nozzles. So these nozzles or these settings, excuse me, won't show up like I said unless you have a second extruder on your printer and you can modify it the ender 3 for example does have a slot on the board for another extruder some people use that to hook up another motor instead but it is possible to put another hot end on the mount and just kind of roll with it but you will need these settings in order to get it working properly and printing properly and not blobbing and oozing and stringing everywhere from the wrong nozzle while you're printing with the right one. So this is something that I've only used a couple times and I do not actually own one myself. So this might not be in my area of expertise per se, but I do know a little bit about it. And this is one of the areas that unfortunately we're probably not gonna be covering in depth too much until I can get my hands on one of these printers. But rest assured that day will come and the day for these videos will as well. As always, this channel is brought to you by these fine Patreon supporters. If you'd like to support the channel on Patreon, head over to www.patreon.com slash technivorous. That's going to be it for this video. As always, I am Technivorous, and thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out our main channel page where we do a free giveaway for our subscribers every month. So far, we've given away things like a Capricorn PTFE tubing kit and spools of filament. So the giveaway videos are always pinned to our main channel page. So all you have to do is subscribe and leave a comment on the giveaway video for the current contest. Feel free to check out this video right here. YouTube picked it from my content just for you. And if you haven't already, you can hit the subscribe button right here. So what are you waiting for? Become a Technivore now. Thanks again. Technivorous out.